Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com uh, nightly wrap up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, last time we spoke was on Tuesday. Um, I forgot to uh, mute our squawk box. So if you guys heard a Darth Vader type of voice speaking over me, um, instead of the mic, my microphone, my speaker picking up uh, the the squawk box. It went through my computer, so I apologize. I think it was he was broadcasting news three separate times uh, <laughs> as I was talking. I didn't even realize that, so I apologize for that. Uh, yesterday there was no uh, nightly video, not because anything crazy happened. Um, I tried a, a new uh, protein shake. Uh, some of you guys know, some of you guys don't know. I, I've given up a lot of uh, a lot of extras in life, and I've given up uh, dairy, and I must have had some dairy because. It ripped up my stomach like really, really bad without going into detail, yada, yada, yada. There was no video last night. Let's just keep it, uh, let's just keep it domesticated here. So a lot of things happened yesterday, right? A lot of things happened. A lot of levels that we talked about for the last several days, uh, they went bye-bye. Let's start off with Tesla, right? Let's start off with Tesla. Actually, you know what? Let's start off with the cues, kind of the big picture, and then we'll work our way uh, from there. So we talked about the importance of that uh, 364 level probably three, four videos in a row. Uh, the Kings finally went through the, that level, uh, put in the close yesterday, tested its next support. And yesterday, obviously, uh, Netflix and Tesla came out with earnings. They were the big things. And the question was going to be, well, were all those call buyers, you guys remember all those call buyers on Tesla, were they going to be right, right? As, as people always say all the time, Somebody always knows something. Well, not necessarily, right? And that's kind of the, the, the point of reference here. So Tesla, we knew two things before their earnings. Number one, we knew that it better defend that 50-day moving average. As a matter of fact, I did a video, I think three, four videos ago, and saying, hey, if Tesla loses the 50-day moving average, it's probably going to be very, very bad, right? Uh, the problem was it was fighting with the 50-day moving average ahead of earnings. And I kept on fighting, kept on fighting, kept on fighting. And then finally, earnings came out yesterday. Obviously, everybody knows by now, they literally missed on everything. They missed uh, the top and the bottom line. They missed their free cash flow was less. Their gross margin was less. The good news is they sold like $23 billion worth of cars. So that's good. Uh, obviously, the market did not like that news, or at least it did not like that news after Elon Musk uh, started speaking at the conference call, um, the, you know, the new... A uh, truck that they're coming out, blah 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 blah. Everything's all great, and you know, and Tesla. The initial, uh, the initial move was down, and then the stock actually went green, and then blah blah blah. The Cybertruck and all that extra talk, and Tesla last night uh, got hit. You know, got hit pretty hard. And when you woke up this morning, it kept on getting hit hard. And I said this morning, I think the stock will see a 10% move. It will trigger SSR. It did that as well. The other one, right, is Netflix. Netflix was being sold for months, right? It's being sold for months. And you can see here, uh, again, what happened. This is kind of my point of reference on Tesla. What happened, what could happen if Tesla lost the 50-day? Well, we saw what happened when Tesla, uh, Netflix lost the 50-day. got absolutely killed. And they actually came out with a pretty good quarter. If you look at Netflix quarters, uh, you had your revenues. Uh, they beat on estimates, right? They beat on... Um, they beat on revenues. They missed on estimates, but their streaming was up. And to nobody's surprise, because they keep on saying it over and over and over again, guess what? They raised prices again. I think I started out my Netflix membership years and years and years ago. It was like nine, 10 bucks. Then it went to 12 bucks. Then it was like the 15 bucks. And now it's going to be like 22 bucks. Again, I'm on Netflix. I'm, you know, I'm one of these uh, sport parents. Like my, my kids are constantly practicing. When they're practicing and I'm there, I'm watching Netflix. So I, I would pay whatever it takes to to keep Netflix. That's much I love the content there, uh, but a lot of people won't. But to be to be fair, the people have spoken, right? The people have spoken today. Uh, Netflix had a really, really huge day today, uh, up about 55 points on the day. Uh, and crazy enough, right, when one stock loses the 50-day, Netflix reclaimed the 50-day moving average. So you have two different stocks going in two different directions. And now the question was last night, was Netflix going to pull everything up or was Tesla going to pull everything down? We got our answer 
not right away because the market was actually holding up fairly well. Everything was going well. And then little guy, maybe you guys heard of his name, little guy by the name of Jerome Powell, right? Jerome Powell started speaking right around noon. And if you start seeing the volatility right around noon, you knew, right? Jerome Powell started speaking. Again, without going into every detail, I'm sure you could Google it. There's a million of sites that will tell you exactly what he said. For me, it's all about the price action. The initial move was down and then it went up and then all the way down into the close. Again, when you want to trade a Fed date, well, you got an extra one today uh, at noon. And in the process with the sell-off, NASDAQ down 128 points. Uh, the Dow today got hit for 250. And with all that said and done, we closed right on, right on uh, the 100-day uh, EMA on uh, the NASDAQ 100. And again, if you've been following this video and following this broadcast, you kind of knew the importance of 364. Now, right down this level, guys, the importance level right now is 359. Okay, that is, it's, it's no room for interpretation. 359 is the line of the sand in the queues because if we start losing 359, we're going to go back down and test the lows from September, which is roughly 351, 352. So for all you guys who are trading on the ETF side, again, Mike, kind of thank you for, for tuning into this broadcast. And by the way, if you are brand new, please come aboard, like, subscribe, share. I try to give you as much uh, value on a non-biased basis as possible. So write down this number, uh, 359, right? 359 is going to be the line in the sand in the Qs. The Qs start losing 359. I do believe we will see uh, 351, 352. It doesn't have to happen tomorrow. No, it doesn't have to be tomorrow. But always, again, be prepared, set alert. So if, if it does happen and it does start to confirm, uh, you will be uh, absolutely prepared. Uh, when you look at the SPYs, you know what? Let's use SPX as a proxy. Um, let's use the SPX as a proxy. So SPX, uh, again, lost this uh, 4,300 level that have defended us several times. Now, you know, watch that 4,268 level. If it starts losing 4,268 uh, on the, especially on the intraday basis, we could get all the way back down again to the September lows of roughly 4,228. So again, for all you guys, we're trading the SPX. Keep an eye on 4268. Uh, now comes the individual stocks, right? And this is kind of where we uh, we make our bones. We'll get to Netflix and Tesla in a second. But look at names, for example, like AMD, right? AMD had a big move down, if you guys remember, big move down from this 104.75 level below the 50-day moving average. And now it's just sitting here. You see that three little soldiers? It's sitting here right on, uh, right on the 150-day EMA. If AMD starts losing the 150-day EMA, it's going to go test, you know, it should test back that 98, 70s, 99 level. So big, big uh, line in the sand here for AMD. Uh, look, for example, uh, Apple, right? Look at Apple, for example. It's, it's, it looks just like AMD as well. It's, it's right now uh, being defended on the 150-day EMA. If Apple starts losing the 150-day EMA and NASDAQ starts losing that, and the Qs start losing that 359, Apple has a lot of room down as well. So keep an eye on that as well. NVIDIA, right? NVIDIA, 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 NVIDIA. So we talked about NVIDIA on the five day. We talked about NVIDIA on the 10 day. Guys, look how close NVIDIA is from losing the 100 day EMA, guys. This is now tested it back two days in a row. It's held that level two days in a row. If NVIDIA starts losing, uh, starts losing the 100 day EMA, now you got room to the September 21st lows of 409.80s. And if that starts to crack, you got 407s and you got a lot of room down ahead of its earnings as well. Let's talk about Netflix, right? One of the only bright spots here uh, on, uh, uh, on on the board. So now Netflix, uh, you know, it's up 55 points today. Is it possible it has is it ha has um, a res day tomorrow, a little bit of profit taking? Absolutely, you know, absolutely it's, it's in the cards. What I want to do, especially tomorrow at the open, if there is a, a light volume, um, a light volume uh, decline into rising 60 minute support, I think there's a bounce play there. And there's, it wouldn't shock me if it does open up red tomorrow, goes red to green, and at least gives us a trade uh, to the upside. But boy, oh boy, very, very impressive. And now let's get the Tesla, right? Let's get the Tesla. So Tesla right now, as you can see, uh, is very, very close. Uh, to the 200-day moving average. We had several uh, several pivots today on Tesla. Again, I'm trying to cut this broadcast a little short because I have to go take my kids, uh, well, my son, excuse me, to practice. 
Um, I think the next couple of days, and again, doesn't necessarily have to happen tomorrow, but I think the next couple of days, Tesla will probably test uh, the 200-day EMA, uh, which is roughly 214. The big level then comes, right? The big level then comes on the August 18 lows, right? That is the mother of all support because if it starts losing the August 18 lows, guys, look how much room you have. Remember, there's no catalyst left. Unlike a name like NVIDIA that still has to report, Apple still has to report, AMD still has to report, Amazon still has to report. There's nothing, right? There's nothing on the horizon that is going to be a catalyst uh, for Tesla. So uh, the first order of businesses, I do think, uh, I don't, again, this doesn't necessarily have to be tomorrow, but I think Tesla will test uh, 214 in the next couple of days. And if it starts losing the August, right, the August two, uh, the August uh, lows, I think there's a lot of potential uh, back to the downside. So again, crazy market, a lot of, you know, a lot of bullets, a lot of grenades. You have Fed speaking, you have, you know, you have earnings all over the place. Next week, you have uh, pretty much everybody else reporting Apple and uh, and, and Amazon and um, and uh, Microsoft and Google. So we're going to be busy. You know, we're going to be definitely, definitely busy over the next uh, several weeks and earnings. But the most important part, guys, and I say this every day in the webinar, stay patient, right? Stay calm. Not every single training day is for everybody. Uh, every single trader is built differently. If you're an experienced trader, you know the ramifications. If you're an inexperienced trader or start getting your feet wet, days like this are very aggressive for you, okay? When you're looking at Netflix buying up 50 or NVIDIA, you know, or, or Tesla shorting in the 20s, it's a different ball game, right? So you have to really be an adult about it depending on your level and say to yourself, well, here's my account, right? Here's my account. Here's my pain threshold. Here's my level of experience. Is this the day for you? And if that's the case, right, if the answer is yes, then that's great. You're trading like everything is all good in the world. The problem is if you're not experienced, right, and this is something that's going to make you uncomfortable, don't ever put your money, don't ever put your feet in the fire if you fully don't understand the ramifications behind it. And that's why it's it's such a shame with all these alert services popping up. You're trading, you're, you're, you're literally trading, you're putting your money on the line with something that you fully don't understand, with comforts that you possibly don't even have, or the experience to really understand why you're putting on the trade. And unfortunately, guys, that is the fool's gold. Once you put yourself in a situation that you fall in love with, whatever process it is, it doesn't have to be the PS60 theory, or I am a little partial to it. The point is, put yourself in a situation that you know exactly why you're putting on the trade. You know your risk level. You know if it's a scenario day, they, it's risk versus reward versus reward versus risk. That's two different types of day. We talk about that all the time in the premium. Are you getting a premium hand? Are you getting a distribution cycle? Is the market stuck? We went through all that spin cycle for the last couple of weeks, and we're finally out of it now, back to the downside. And that's exactly what we talked about. Uh, all the levels on Tesla got confirmed. All the levels on the Qs got confirmed. Now we're just waiting for the next shoe to drop, if that's the case. Is it possible, again, we have an inside day tomorrow? Of course it's possible, but boy, oh boy, it's very hard to imagine uh, that Tesla at some point tomorrow won't be red, red again and, and potentially test that 214 level, setting up for a potential August lows strike. So guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless you all. And hopefully everybody will have a great trading day. Hope everybody will have a great weekend. And I will see you all on the weekend update. Take care.